Hey everyone, this is Feverhost from tabletvideos.info, androidtablets.net, and zoomforums.com. Last night I finally rooted my Zoom 4G to ICS 4.0.3, which is Android's newest ice cream sandwich operating system. Now the entire process took about 20 minutes because I had to download the USB files, ADB, the EOS, ROM, all that kind of stuff. I wanted to show you how it looks on my Zoom, now how I did it, and what features I think are pretty cool. To start, you're going to need to grab the Motorola USB driver. Now mind you, all of the links will be attached in the description of this video and also on my website at tabletvideos.info. So download that program and install it to your computer. I strongly recommend that you use the USB cable that came with your Zoom. And once you install the USB driver, you're going to want to reboot your computer. Now once your computer is back up, hook up the USB cable and your computer should now recognize your Zoom. It can take a couple minutes to fully recognize the tablet. Windows goes through a couple settings, you know, that kind of stuff. Next, you need to download the Easy ADB, which again, I have a link on where to download that at. Once you have downloaded it, create a folder on your C colon backslash drive called SDK underscore tools. Then extract all the AD files to that directory. The third step is to download the recovery image for the tablet. Click on the link in the description of this video. Once downloaded, move the IMG file to C colon backslash SDK underscore tools. The fourth step is to download the ESO Stingray file that goes with your Zoom. Now there's a Wi-Fi, a 3G, a 4G US, and other countries. I'm going to supply you a list so you can click on the right link. Once that file has been downloaded, it's usually about 100 megabyte in size. Move it to your micro USD card on your tablet. It's very important that you move this to your external micro SD card. If you don't, this whole process won't work. The fifth step is to download the Google Applications file called EOS G Apps. Also make sure to put that on your micro SD card. Now we're at the ADB part of the process. Make sure before you begin to check the USB debugging on your tablet by going to Settings, Applications, Development, and Enable USB Debugging. Now your Zoom should already be connected via the USB cable. If not, make sure you do that now. Okay, now here comes the pretty technical stuff, but it's a step-by-step -step walkthrough, so it shouldn't be really be that difficult. Now once you've done all this, you're going to want to click on Start then run and type in CMD on your computer. Once the DOS prompt comes up, type in C colon backslash SDK underscore tools. First, we want to make sure that the Zoom is in fact recognized by your computer. So type in ADB space devices. If your tablet is recognized, it's going to display a bunch of numbers and letters. If not, I suggest unplug the cable, replug it back in. If that doesn't work, Restart your computer and try that again. Now if all this fails, remove the USB driver from the Motorola, reinstall it, and reboot. Also make sure you're using the original USB cable. Really important. Okay, the next part is in the DOS prompt, type in ADB space reboot space loader. Now don't be shocked if your Zoom reboots. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. On your Zoom, it's going to say on the top of the tablet, Starting Fast Boot Protocol Support. Once it says that in the DOS prompt on your computer, type in Fast Boot Space OEM Space Unlock. Now on your tablet, a warning is going to come up saying something about it's going to unsecure your tablet, etc. Use the volume down button to cycle to unlock, then hit the volume up to confirm. Now at this point, once you do this, it's going to completely wipe all your apps and personal information off the tablet. Anytime you load a custom ROM onto your tablet, everything gets removed, although your external micro SD card will not be affected. Now once the Zoom completes this task, if it doesn't reboot itself, in the DOS prompt type fastboot space reboot. Although every time I've done this, the tablet always rebooted itself. Once the Zoom has rebooted, and your computer has recognized it again in the DOS prompt type in ADB space reboot space bootloader. The file will be the recovery tmot 
one that you downloaded to your SDK underscore tools. Next, unplug the USB cable and reboot your Zoom by pressing the volume up and the power button at the same time. After the tablet reboots and you see the Motorola logo, wait 3 seconds then hit the volume down button. You should now see it go into Android recovery and it's going to say that on the top left corner. If you don't get into this section quick enough, you're going to have to flash recovery image all over again. And that's the ADB reboot bootloader command etc. Now press the volume up button to select Android recovery. Now it's smart at this point to back up your existing image drive to your micro SD card in case something bad happens. So use the volume down button to go to backup and restore and use the power button on the back of the zoom to select backup. This is going to back up your image to your external card. Now use the volume down up buttons again to go to wipe data factory reset and select it with the power button. Scroll down to yes. This is going to completely wipe everything from your tablet. There is no going back from this point. Now using the volume down up buttons go to wipe cache partition and select yes with the power button on the back. Next go to advanced and select wipe Dalvik cache then select go back option. Now select install zip from SD card and choose the ESO zip file. This is going to be the ESO Stingray 1.0.0 etc file. Once that's done, repeat the process for the gapps file. Version 10.5 is the newest. Wait for the process to end and click reboot system now. Now here's the exciting part. If all goes well, once the tablet reboots, you're going to see a logo on the top right bottom of the tablet. It's going to spin for a couple of minutes and ICS 4.0.3 will load up. This ROM already has root built into it, so there's no need to go out there and try to root it. It's already done. Now if the tablet keeps sticking at the spinning logo on the bottom right of the tablet, I'm going to create a new video on how to fix that. So that's basically how you root the Zoom tablet, either it's Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G, it doesn't really matter, just select the correct ROM for it. Pretty easy, just, just stick to it. If anything fails, just go back to the beginning, go back to the ADB devices, detect it, load the bootloader, um, do the fast boot OEM unlock, um, reboot it, go through bootloader images, wipe all the caches, wipe the directory, all that kind of stuff. You know, eventually you're gonna get it. If not, contact me anytime and I'll make sure I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Fever host with tabletvideos.info.